How do you stop this thing? Oh, I guess the button here. There they go. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. Wow. Okay, well, I guess it's on. I keep trying to work on this snagit thing. Um, let's go ahead. I want to show you something So that I found. I'm going to find my way home here. Back to my hometown of uh, Siberia. Um, Siberia, Siberia, Siberia. It'll be down here. There it is. Okay. So I wanted to show you something that I discovered about the, about the landscape here. Let's start over here. Okay. <clears throat> I'm out in the uh, Mojave Desert area. And what you're looking at here, this, these mountains, these are old mountains here, or worn down. And this is a uh, volcano right there. I'll go into the, show you the crater in just a second. And this is the flow, the lava flow from it. It's very similar to the uh, type of flow that you have in Hawaii, that kind of just kind of you know, melting, flowing off, slowly moving away. And you can flow down into the valley towards the uh, lake bed down there. And you can see that subsequent erosion has kind of covered mm -hmm. it with sand here. Let's go in a little bit. You can see that there's places here where sand is blown on top of it as well. And here's the actual uh, caldera right there, the, you know, the, the actual volcano itself. Kind of zoom in. Look at the sand right up at the top. Wouldn't that be interesting to climb up there and have a look at that? Yeah. So this is all volcano, and there are lava tubes down inside. Very, very nicely. This all seems nice and fine, right? Let's get a little closer. It looks, it looks like there's some plants and stuff down there, too, inside. Wouldn't that be interesting to get in there and take a look? Looks like someone... Is that a 392? <laughs> it's like someone made something out of uh, stones. A little mark there. Very interesting. So let's uh, scroll back out. And uh, it almost looks like, doesn't that look like kind of like a, uh, looking like that, kind of like a, uh, a Mayan pyramid, you know, <laughs> with the ramp kind of going up to it? Interesting. Okay, so that's what you'd expect out of a volcano in the desert. You'd see that and then the lava going along there. But, so then what the mystery to me was, if you swoop up here to the deep water wilderness, these three here, now here's Siberia over here, and here's Baghdad over here, and uh, all of this area out here, this is the deep water wilderness, an immense area. The three things that are kind of a mystery to me are these three volcanic cinder cones here. Okay, like this one here, that's a pretty sizable cone. Look at the size of that. Look at the way the uh, you can see clearly how the uh, lava flows out down uh, away from away from the camera here, out and then out in here in the plane. But where's the lava? It kind of like just kind of stops and there's a little ridge poking up there as the channel goes out and then there's no more lava. Maybe some of you are already figuring this out. You can see how the lava flowed over the range here, the older stuff here. Isn't that interesting? You can kind of definitely get a glimpse of which came first, the chicken or the egg, which came first, the light-colored rocks or the dark-colored rocks. So there's another one right up here in the volcano. Very similar, huh? You look at that in the beautiful coloration. I haven't made it to either of these volcanoes yet. I've been very close to the first one, but not at it yet. I do intend to go here. This is actually the volcano I was trying to get to uh, last week, two weeks ago in the Anxiety Hike. Well, that was last week, actually. And there are uh, lava tubes down inside as well. But likewise, again, here's the volcano, but we don't see the extensive lava flows. We would expect to see, you know, more, although it's kind of peeking out there. Ah, some of you are probably figuring this out right away. Little sills peeking, peeking out there, right? I'm sure you're getting where this is going now. Although it took me, actually a professor told me about this decades ago, and it took me decades later to actually put it together and figure it out. Look at that. You can see how the flow of the sand goes around there. This is kind of another clue. You know, even though this is the driest, this uh, area right here between uh, Siberia and Baghdad, actually Siberia itself, is the driest place in North, Amer North America. It has the longest, over two years without a drop of rain. So imagine how long it now how infrequent the rain is and the flash floods come racing down this valley striking this volcano and flowing around it although they're not really doing that anymore now that the railway and the and the um, route 66 that's route 66 are here 
and it just ch diverts the channel. Well, maybe it would. It flows, it diverts right in here, hits the mountain, and flows around. But anyway, this is the most dramatic example yet. So here's the caldera, right? Lovely. I did hike over this. I parked my car over here, right there. Hike over here, and I uh, climbed up this ridge along this mountain. It got a little iffy right right here, so I uh, went down, climbed around the bottom of this, took a little rest down there. It looks more formidable now than it was, and then I climbed up here along this ridge again and hung out here at the top up here. I actually made a video up here at the top. I posted it somewhere, but I've lost track of it. And there's actually something right in front of this volcano here, too. You can maybe see. Oops, I kind of lost my angle there. Where is it? It's right at the front. There's like a rock structure. Here you can see it. Right up here in front. See this? Someone came out here and placed these stones in a semicircle. Blow those out. And then I climbed all the way around. But here, I climbed all the way down and then back. But look at this. Where's the lava flow? It's just a rock in that. So. Finally, I figured it out. I was researching a U.S. Geological Survey uh, uh, information about this area, and I learned that these valleys here are very deep, up to 10,000 feet in depth, you know, and that these are actually once were great mountains, great mountain ranges here and here, and deep valleys, and such was the case all over. You know, you can see the valleys here, 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 and there were, you know, big spaces between, spaces between. And it's all basically been filled in over this this area. This was it became geologically um, stable, meaning that it really didn't change much. About 1.4 billion years ago, with a B, and it's been eroding ever since. So we've got 1.4 billion years worth of mountain erosion, slowly um, drawing in the sand down here and filling it in. Now here's another clue. Here's another volcano over here. This is the uh, Amboy Crater right there. You can see the actual crater right there and lots of lava tubes out here look at the color it's all covered in sand now that kind of gives you a clue imagine if the erosion continued you know for another half a billion years this would probably all be filled over with sand and you just have the crater sticking up with a, a ridge of sand around the edge here and all this stuff down here would be underneath I think that's exactly what's happened over here with uh, these three volcanoes, okay? One, one, two, three, especially this one. Look at that. It is just the top of the volcano, actually a cinder cone is the better word for it, with all of the other area covered up in sand. And it's probably got lava tubes down there and all kinds of stuff. And who knows how deep it goes. So kind of think of this, imagine it to be like, uh, an island out in the ocean and this is the edge of the island but instead of uh, water we have uh, sand and it's kind of flowing around it. You can actually see how the sand kind of flows around it and the uh, edge of the island just kind of continues under. Look at that over here. How you can actually see the sand. You can see the sand up on the slope there. It's like a wave lapping up on the edge and then the actual edge of the mountain continues down below. Look how sharp the distinction here, here is. That's what I think we've got going on. And I actually can confirm that because I remember a, a, a professor telling me that e years ago that what we were seeing out here were the tips of mountains sticking out. And I think that that's exactly what we have here. Look at this. Okay, here's the... I have to wonder, I would sit in Siberia and I would look out and I would see these poking up areas of volcanic stuff and I couldn't figure it out. I'll bet that is just a high bark from the flow from here. Look at how it flowed out. How it filled all this area. Or maybe from here. Who knows? One more thing. See the color of this? See how light color the color is of these mountains? Well, that's because it's an earlier lava flow. There are older ones here. Look at these black ones. Or I mean, not earlier, but um, well, they are earlier. But um, from a different, not so deep within the earth. Here's another volcan volcano here. See how black that is? That's because this is a uh, uh, much uh, deeper. This comes from more pure magma from deeper within the earth. 
lots of interest out here, lots of activity going on out here in an enormous area of the deep water wilderness. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.